Hello and welcome back to Creative Cat. In today's video, let's learn how to make leaf and petal venus at home. Before going ahead, just a reminder that if you haven't checked my last week's video of making molds at home, then check it out now so you won't miss such a useful video. So just like last time we have to make a dough, I'm taking some cornstarch, spread it a little. This is silicone sealant, I'm going to mix it in the cornstarch. Now mix them to form a nice and soft dough. You can add acrylic paint if you wish but it is completely optional. Use little petroleum jelly at the end. Spread the dough on plastic sheet or baking sheet. I am giving it a leaf shape. Here I have mint leaf which I am going to use to get the impression. Choose the leaf which has uh, nice and clear veins. Make sure there are no air bubbles inside. Now I'll let the silicone cure for half an hour. And look at that, it takes the details so beautifully. Now what I'll do is I'll trim the edges with scissor. Make more silicone dough. Now you have to cover the earlier leaf impression with petroleum jelly or oil. Now you have to press this piece on the fresh silicone dough. The two pieces should interlock with each other. Let the new silicone cure. Because you have applied the petroleum jelly, you can separate them so easily. And this is how you will get a pair of your own silicone leaf veneer. I'll show you how it works with the clay. So this is my homemade cold porcelain clay. Isn't it perfect? Nobody can believe you made it yourself. Trust me. Just like this, I made more with different kind of leaves. This is rose leaf. 
I'm keeping them color coded so I can easily find the mat. This is one more. Just wanted to show this how I'm not happy with this rose winner. I like mint one with the clear veins. I could only find uh, one kind of uh, rose leaf. Maybe it depends on the variety. It did not had uh, much clear veins. So if you're making it, please try to find a leaf with really clear veins so you can get a nice impression of it. Here I'm making a rose petal winner. The same procedure, but the petal is not flat like leaves. It has some curves, uh, so you need to start from the bottom and keep pressing and try to give the silicone uh, petal curve shape. You can take out the excess silicone and use it for something else. One more thing I wanted to thank you for your support and for the last week community post about how a silicone mold seller got furious on me for showing people how to make silicone molds at home. I feel a little bad and ask you guys if I'm doing something wrong and you guys are so amazing. You cheered me up with such a motivating words. Thank you so much. I'm a DIY girl and I'm not going to stop. We'll keep making such videos to help you and to help myself as making these projects is therapy for me too. I feel happy and relaxed after I make something. Don't hold back. Let me know what you feel. Your comments make difference. Thank you so much once again. I have already shared realistic cold porcelain clay rose flower tutorial. You can uh, check it on my channel. So that was the video guys. Please comment and let me know how you like it. See you next time. Bye bye.